she's so magical, like she's a magical little character. And I feel like I would feel that way even if I didn't play her. She is, she has, one of my favorite things about her is her sense of humor. She has a great sense of humor. And I feel like the character is most successful when, as smart as they make her, you can't ever forget that she's eight. Mm. So if you just put her on the soapbox in order to deliver the message, which is far beyond her years, you can only take that in small doses because it's so precocious and unappealing as to be unappealing, you know, as to be not very interesting. But as soon as you pepper that in with her love of itchy and scratchy or the sibling rivalry with Bart or what, you know, her fear of not having any friends, you create a balance that is really rich and really complex. And then you throw in her sense of humor and it's lightning in a bottle. Mm. She's such a great girl. And, I've, and I feel like, you know, we're probably closer to the end of the show than we used to be. Um, although the joke is we're only halfway through and this is, we're recording. <laughs> We're about to record the last episode of season 28. But um, people ask me now, what will, how will you feel when the show is over? Will you be glad? Are you tired of, do you get tired of doing the same character? One of the beauties of episodic television is you get to know the person, but you get to say different words every week, right? So it's not like doing Cats for 22 years, which, you know, could be a challenge just in and of itself doing the same thing. Um, but I do feel like this will make me cry. You know, when The Simpsons is over and I don't get to play Lisa Simpson 22 episodes a year anymore, that it will be like one of my very best friends in the world has moved away and she's never coming back. And that will be, that will be hard. She's a great girl. <laughs>